Hey guys, here Frank again. Second movie of the of this day. Yes, I know it's crazy, but um, I wanted to show you what I did um, um, so that the Afghans uh, of the Paris were delayed. I had two commission builds for the Dutch IPMS, so the International Plastic Modeler Society. They asked me if I uh, wanted to build two models and uh, give a review for the the glossy magazine which we have i'm a member of the ipm dutch ipms and um well um and i did so the first one is from zvesda it's uh, one in 72 scale so 20 millimeters it is the german 120 millimeter mortar which you can see here um that was uh, a copy of the russian 120 millimeter uh, mortar um, in 1941 1942 they conquered uh, and captured a lot of these mortars from the Russians and they were so impressed that they um, started to make them their own so I believe that they had um, from 1942 to 1945 about 8500 pieces made with more than five and a half million um, grenades for it produced at the um, Eerste Bruna Werks, I believe. So it's uh, in, in Brun, that's uh, the Czech Republic, I think, uh, at the moment. Um, well, they uh, almost uh, copied it. They made some changes to make it more stable and uh, so this is the, this is the Zvezda. Um, so you can see it here. Okay, this is the this is from the packaging. It's uh, this one. Oop. It's a bit zoomed in. Okay, German 120 millimeter mortar with crew. They have a crew of five, um, and I put them all on the base. Uh, the hardest part, believe it or not, were those rifles. And the three rifles, the Mauser rifles, to put in a carré, as, uh, as as we call it. I don't know. In a, you can see it here. So it's a, a very nice and easy model. Um, okay, and the second one is this Russian. That's the original from uh, what the Germans copied. And that is, it's this front, so. so you can see there's also uh, one of the members, the crew members is um, phoning. And if you look well, I don't know if you can see it or can spot it. Here runs a line from the telephone to the telephone box. It's a very small piece of plastic which I got from melting the frame. So it's a technique that uh, Karen showed me. on her channel I think it's uh, it went very well so it looks nice and it looks realistic they made a very nice model and again I used here uh, Vallejo and uh, contrast paints all uh, mixed through each other so okay so this is what I wanted to show you um, okay see you next time bye bye